So say hi. Welcome. Say hi. Say hi. Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the video. Welcome to our home. Back here with us <laughs> and Buzz. If you're yes. Here. So we have, I, I was going to say this is an announcement video, but I don't want people to think that we're going to announce like a baby because that's not what's happening We're here. having twins. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> My body's rejecting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no babies yet. Two, two bits of good news that we wanted to share with you guys. So on Monday. Yes, Monday. Monday. This, this past Monday, uh, we had two bits of good news. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm re. I'm reiterating. Okay. Don't they can't see my hair from. Uh, it's you. This is you. Two bits of good news. One being Buzz, and then the other subject is being well, you know. Matt. Me. Matt. I'll let you talk about Buzz. Buzz. Back in May, was it? Back in May. Two months right, prior to this. Right before Matt broke his leg. We found out that Buzz had heartworms, so we talked about this a little bit on the channel, I talked about it on my Instagram, but we had basically not given him his heartworm meds for like a short time span. Within that time span, he got bit by an infected mosquito and he got heartworm. So for the last two months, he's been going through heartworm treatment. That's why whenever we were at our last trip, you saw a lot of Brady, but Buzz was in the trailer the whole time. Because we basically had to keep him calm and quiet is what they call it, but we had to keep him calm. He couldn't run, he couldn't get excited, he couldn't bark. Anything that would get his blood pumping could possibly cause a clot and cause him to die. Scary. It was a very scary situation, so we were trying to keep him as calm as possible. Well, we had his checkup on Monday and he is clear! And what's cool is, uh, yeah, we also had my checkup on Monday, and so... Well, we're not done talking about Buzz. But it's all about me. So, so Buzz got to run this week. He got to run. And he can be back to his happy, normal, goofy self. And we let him out in the pen with Brady. And they can play as much as they want. So Buzz will be joining us again for all of our adventures. Next time we travel, he's going to get to play just as much as Brady. So if anybody thought that we didn't love Buzz, we only kept him in here because... You're so wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> we only kept him in here because we had to. So yeah. now he can play just as much as Brady. We let him out the door and he just goes and it's awesome. Yeah, so cool. It's awesome. Okay, yeah. Now we can talk about me? Now we can talk about you. All right, cool. So yeah, I also had my appointment on this this past Monday and uh, everything was, was fairly good. I was kind of nervous about it because I was actually doing my own PT. Uh, so I, I'm not in PT yet, whole insurance thing, yes, Blair. And you ran that obstacle race. There's a few things that I probably should not have done. I have, I have trouble kind of feeling that way because I went to an appointment and he said, I'm good. He's healed! My bone is, he said it's pretty much healed, which I see that as, your bone's 100% and <laughs> you should go climb. Well, and he also stated the phrase, and so like, you can climb now. He, he said, gave him the okay to yeah. climb. He so, said with ropes, of course. <laughs> that same day, I went and went, uh, yeah, I went climbing. Yeah. Yeah, back um, to the same gym that I broke my leg at, so. But yeah, he said no high impact stuff, so no like, no bouldering, nothing where you'll take a high impact fall. No, like jumping around, which you didn't really hop around before, yeah. unless you were climbing. So he said, just make sure to climb with rope. So whenever if you do fall, there's not any impact on your leg. Um, but yeah, doctor, surgeon, the surgeon said he's good to start top roping. Yeah, so climbing with ropes again. So I've been doing that with Audible, which uh, it lowers you down very slowly. Matt is healed. Buzz is healed. So basically with you, you just need to work on the mobility and the range of motion and getting the muscle back. Yep, I'm working on getting into PT. The doctor prescribed like 34 weeks, two times a week. I think I'm going to go like two times. Uh, I just want to get like the okay, like, oh, you're kind of doing this right, you know, and then maybe like a month later go again and just kind of get another checkup. I don't want to, I don't want to go every I single week. I think you need to. We'll see. We will maybe see. Maybe people in the comments will tell you the benefits of physical therapy I will say, I'm sure there are some people that have had injuries and benefited from physical therapy I am sure feel free to interject you guys I am sure about that but at the same time it's um, my swelling is going down my mobility is increasing my strength is increasing uh, all on my own and it's actually been within a short period of time relatively like a couple weeks we'll discuss that later no we're gonna discuss it right now <laughs> <laughs> 
But we just wanted to update you guys and let y'all know that things are looking up. As far as long trips go, of course we can start taking more trips now that you're more mobile. But with the holidays coming up, we've got a lot of plans that are in this area. So we can't take big trips until probably after Christmas. But some of those plans do include trips. And so uh, we are going to be going to several places. Uh, we already have planned at least two trips uh, that are coming up hopefully pretty soon. So uh, maybe some more. Uh, but they're all kind of in the central to outside central uh, Texas area. Uh, there very well could be a, a longer trip in there. But it's, it's really dependent on a few things. And I don't know if Blurred knows what I'm talking about yet. So we'll figure that one out. Yeah. But next I wanted to add in just a little bit of footage from last week. So we have a P.O. box. We had two friends send us some awesome things to our P.O. box. So I'm just going to let the footage play and show you guys uh, just kind of what we got and my yeah. reaction to the, the wonderful gift. But hope you guys enjoy. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Holy smokes! Holy smokes! Poncho tissues! Oh my gosh! Wow! This is so awesome! Backpacks, the mesh bags I thought could help hold dry goods, and I found some Ziplocs for maybe bath goods. Those bags are awesome. Um, a little toothbrush kit and some bags. I absolutely look forward to more adventures. Hashtag Tim That's awesome. Thank you, Jessica. This is so cool. Like, this is, this is what it's all about, is getting other people involved. Whether it's through Patreon or doing stuff like this. Like, this is so cool and helpful to the bags and I mean seriously every little bit helps so why not that's so cool awesome the four layers hold on dear Blair and Matt enclosed you will find something I made special just for you and it's regards Charlene I believe that everybody's healing and everybody can start moving around a bit more. Just a bit. You and Buzz can race now. Yeah, I can kind of run. I can, it's like a hoppy gallop. Well, it's, it's not good. <laughs> but remember where you were. Yeah, couldn't even ride in a car. Right. Sure. Throw that right. in there. It was, it was bad, you guys. But yeah, Three hopefully months. you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. We love y'all. We love Buzz. We love Matt. Brady is good, too. But <laughs> Blair's good, too. Okay, well, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> Have fun out there. Bye. On the long walk to get the camera. <laughs> <laughs>
Wait, wait. Oh. 